Hey guys, what's up? John here from fly 8 mikealphacom Go ahead and hop in with us for the next 10 minutes as we show you the nice short condensed version of what it looked like flying into Sun and Fun this past year. We brought Brenda along for her first trip flying into the show. Congrats to her for just soloing in her Cherokee. And now for starters, let's go ahead and grab some ATIS. Lakeland Sun and Fun Arrival Information Echo. Make your approach to the airport from Lake Parker, which is 7 miles northeast of the Lakeland Lander Airport. Monitor Lake Parker approach frequency 124.5. Remain well clear of a class Delta airspace en route to Lake Parker. All aircraft approach Lake Parker from a point one mile due east of the North Shore Power Plant with the white strobes. GPS coordinate V Parker. As you approach the stacks, look for other aircraft in the vicinity to follow. Do not fly side by side. Turn your landing lights on, lower your landing gear, and squawk standby. Maintain 100 knots at 1,200 feet. If unable, maintain 150 knots at 1,700 feet. Depart the power plant on a westbound heading until reaching I-4. Turn southwestbound, follow I-4 approximately 3 miles. Look for a golf course on your left, and you'll be 3.5 miles north of the Lakeland Airport. Immediately after passing the golf course, turn left and fly southbound directly to Lakeland Airport. Look for a blue roof terminal with strobe lights. Okay. Keep the ball-shaped white water tower to your right and the wedding cake okay, tower to your left. Okay. Monitor Lakeland Tower on 135.22. Follow the instructions from air traffic controllers and enter close left downwind for runway 9 or left. Use caution. Do not approach on the parallel final due to landing traffic. Runway 9 left is 75 feet wide and has 3,500 feet displaced okay. threshold. Make approach to the strobes and land on the green or orange dots as assigned by air traffic controllers. Do not land prior to the strobes. Runway 9 right has a 3,500 feet displaced threshold. Available land distance is 5,000 feet. After landing, remain on the hard service unless otherwise directed. Watch the controllers wearing orange shirts for further instructions. Got information echo. You got all that? Yeah. All makes sense? All made sense. <laughs> do you remember totally. any of it? Nope. Alright, cool. I do. Okay, cool. So we'll fly east, we'll hang around here, and then we'll go towards uh, Lake Parker. Okay. And you can slide your window open more if you want, get some more breeze. And then, uh, yeah, we'll monitor this frequency here. They'll tell us, uh, you know, when to walk, rock our wings to acknowledge. And we got the gear down, you got a wheel down on your side, yep. and I can see the tail wheel in the mirror. I got a gear down on my side, so our gear is down, all our lights are on, and don't need to cycle the bilge, we didn't land on water. We are good to go. Perfect. Go ahead and squawk standby like they wanted. And just as everything was going smoothly, we had gotten the ATIS, we got the airplane configured, everything was going great. We were flying northbound to start proceeding eastbound over Lake Parker and cross the power plant, rock our wings, and proceed inbound on that procedure. Well, that's right when they went into holding over Lake Parker. So that we can keep in some tight holding. If you are faster, need to go up to 1700, that's fine. If you need to go wings over the ground, that's fine too. Making a left turn, really making angry. a left turn around, following. Oh, she's not angry. Angry. She's just busy. So that's okay. Lake Hancock, that's Lake Parker. How do you know that? Try to keep wings wet if they I got 30 pages right of telling all that stuff. <laughs> Did you read it all? Me quickly. When they come out of nope. holding, I'll start taking you guys out. It'll probably be one in, one back around, one in, back around. So you guys just listen up for me. Try to make sure that you're watching the guy in front of you. I don't want to see two rocking if I ask, please. Just keep aiming for that smoke right off there, yeah. right off the nose there. That'll be perfect. That's what I was trying to do. <laughs> You can slide that little grip up too. Oh, oh careful, that's the push dock. You guys are looking great. You guys are looking don't great. Transmit. Find somebody yeah, to don't follow. Transmit. Coming right across the smokestack, and then you're going to turn left. We're going to be in holding. Let's turn around the lake. Try to keep the wings wet or right over the shoreline so we don't get you too far out there. Looks like another one just over the shoreline. If you make the left turn out, well, uh, rocky wings for me just over the 
There you go. Make a left turn out for me. One more lap. <laughs> Got to give him space. Only about three or four in at a time. Make one more lap around the lake for me. Kind of crazy, eh? Yeah. Right, looks like I got the Mooney coming that's up busy. here. Truck your bad. Way. That's bad. Turn great. left, Mooney. If yep. you're coming in from the north, I need... Because instead of transmitting, you don't talk to them at all. You just rock your wings to acknowledge. So when they call yeah. you, they'll call us. They'll say white tail dragger high wing or something like that. Somebody off to your left side there. There you go. Straighten it up. You're going opposite of everybody else. I need you to go one mile east and then follow somebody. Mooney, looks like you're just on the north shore right now. Rock your wings for me. Westbound. Now keep going westbound. Southbound, the Mooney, I think the southbound is cutting across. Uh, hold just in the middle of the lake for me for right now, and we'll get you in in a minute. Find somebody if you can to follow. I just don't want you cutting She's anybody off. Keep doing oh, that. Yeah, they're really good. To These are the best controllers on the country. Uh, it looks like anywhere, a Cherokee on the north shore. Yeah. Rock your wings Absolutely for me. Cherokee on the north shore. There you go. Good rock. You're following the Mooney. There you go. Great job. I can only send a couple in at a time. Looks like I got two more coming in. A Cessna. Cessna coming in over the north shore. You can continue inbound. I got one right behind him. A low wing. You're going too fast, Cherokee. You're going too fast for me. I'm going to need you to make the left turn out. You'll be following this other one. Maybe it's a Cirrus. A Columbia, maybe? I don't know. One of you, but you're doing what you're supposed to. I appreciate it. <laughs> no, make the left turn no, right no, no, no. And you're going to make one more turn the lake for me. <laughs> and we're not a Cirrus or a Columbia. Coming over the power line, rock your wing. Good rock. Turn okay. westbound, join I-4 southwestbound. We're flying over the, uh, when you make, correction, when you make that left turn, you're flying over the gate tower today. All right. And we don't talk at all? Nope, we don't talk at all. They don't want you to transmit at all. Everybody at 1,200 should be at 100 knots, 1,700 at 150 knots. All right, now we're monitoring the tower frequency. There's our wedding cake tower. Everybody's over the runway, you're doing a good job. All the way down to the orange dot, don't slow down once you hit the ground. Got to be 100 knots all the way off the runway. Traffic coming inbound from uh, the lake. You want to be nose to tail, nose to tail, you got to come into a tight left downwind for runway, minor left skinny runway with the great big tail dragger turn downwind. Once you turn to the downwind, you got to start that descent. We're going to keep you in really tight, like right around the tower. Amphib turn downwind. Everybody's going to turn a short approach just around the tower. We're kind of going to play tetherball with airplanes. Amphib, yeah. start your descent. Amphib, down, down, down. RV, turn base. RV, turn base. Where's that RV we're following? First high wing, turn base. High wing, turn your base now. High wing, base, base, base. Start that turn. Come on, keep it coming around. All the way around, all the way around. Amphib, follow him. Left turn. Amphib, start your base now. Amphib, base now. Base, base, base. Turn, Amphib. Amphib, base, base, base. Low wing, turn down one. Turn down one. Stop all right, we're the base, so Point your nose right now at the green dot. Point at the green dot. You're clear land at the orange dot. Amphib, I want you to point over at the green dot. Over at the green dot with the Amphib. Expect to go to the orange dot. All right, he's landing. Right Moving on down, turn base. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. Okay, Amphib, you're going to put it down at the green dot. The red and white Cessna, you're going to the orange dot. Orange dot, clear to land for the Cessna. Amphib, you're going to put it down at the green dot. I may take you down to the orange dot. It'll be short final. Beige and red, this is crazy. Beige, ring, uh, beige and red, oh, yeah. low wing, turn Very base. Crazy. All right, still got flaps to go. And we're real fast. Turn base now. Beige, low wing. Beige, low wing. Turn base now. Lake, that's going to be awesome. I'm, you're going to go all the way to the orange dot now. Lake, take it down. Orange dot, clear to land. Nine or left. I got a low wing turning the final now. Just over the runway. Awesome job. You're going down to the orange dot as well. Everybody's doing great. I got a red white low wing on the base. You're right, at the orange right. dot. Nine or left. That's the skinny here. runway, guys. Skinny runway. Welcome to the show. Red and white says to turn base now. All right. Flaps. And everybody cannot slow down when you're on the runway. We are 100 knots on movement area because somebody behind you is going to play tag. Red and white says landing. One turn to final. Red and white says on the down one. Start that turn. Start that turn. Runway landing. Okay. So we got a high wing, a uh, frictional low wing, just turning over the runway. Beautiful job. Pick it up just a little bit all the way down to the orange dot. Cut that corner just a little bit, guys. No square turns. No square turns. One turn to final. Base Cherokee, turn base. Base Cherokee, turn base. Red and white Cessna there. You're doing a great job. Cut that corner, though. Do not square your turn. That's what I want to see. You got it. One three tango, turn base. One three tango, turn base. That's what I like to see. A red and white Cessna man, just keep rolling it out. Don't square off that final. One turn to final, nice and round, nice and round. The low wing that's in that base turn, tighten it up, man. Tighten it up. Keep that turn. Come on, come on. Bring it around, bring it around, bring it around. There you go. That's what I'm looking for. Every third land orange shot. Minor left skinny runway.
All right, once we get somewhat established here, we got to put our... Everybody coming inbound from the lake. you got to be nose to tail. We're looking at 100 knots. 1,200 feet. When you turn to the downwind, start that descent. We're doing a super short approach, way, way shorter than normal. we got to get everybody down. We've got lots of planes coming. The white lowering that's just turned all the way down to the orange dot. Tighten it up. Tighten it up a little bit. Keep that power going. If you could pick it up 20 knots, that'd be fantastic. Once you touch down, do not slow down. we got traffic 1,500 feet behind you. Do it and they are going to play Alright. Four crews are copy taxi. And ground. Alright. Trying to get out of everyone's way here. And we got our gap sign up. Good to go. Alright. We made it. Alright, we made it. Well, that was definitely one of the busier experiences I've ever had flying into Sun Fun, but as always, it was an awesome experience getting to fly into the show. Super cool hanging out with so many students and all the supporters of our channel and ground school, and I really cannot wait until next year to do it all over again. Be sure to check out the complete How to Fly into Sun Fun course. It's the entire 30-page notum explained in quick, easy little bites on our site. Be sure to check out all the other awesome courses, Private Pilot Instrument Commercial on the site. And now time for your aviation definition of the day, Roger. It's used when you're not sure what quite else to say. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, if you can't fly every day, then fly 8MikeAlpha.com. We'll see you all next time.